One year ago, I dropped out of college to learn programming. And after four months of watching YouTube tutorials, I got a job at Google. <laughs> this is what you want to hear, right? Yeah. And I want to be happy. But, even though I'm not in Google, I've come a long way in one year. Let's start from the beginning, shall we? So I began my journey with this course called Free Code Camp. I started from the basics of HTML. And managed to make some really cool stuff. Even though they were already amazing, I felt like something was missing. That's when I learned about CSS, so I made them even more cooler. After finishing the course, they gave me a certificate for being a goddamn genius. It was time to start the programming stuff with JavaScript, but I felt like Free Code Camp had too much hand-holding, you know? So I switched to a more challenging course called Theodin Project. They have a bunch of project assignments throughout the course. You learn by reading the concepts and getting your hands dirty with the projects. So here are some of those very cool projects I built. Rock, paper, scissors game. This was my very first JavaScript project. It has a synthwave theme going on. And also has a totally original game over screen. As you can see, I lost. Because I made a very intelligent AI. I can't even begin to explain it, it's just too high level. Next project. Calculator. I mean, it just calculates, to be honest. It's just a fucking calculator. Next project. HS Sketch. Now this one is very cool. You can select the size of the canvas and a color you want. Then make your dreams come to reality. You even have the option to select rainbow colors. You can use this to party hard. Next project. Steam. No, not Steam. It's Steam with a C. It's just for the meme game. Steam is an e-commerce website for games. You can add your favorite games to your cart and you're good to go. And did you know that this website had a shopping cart before Epic Games Launcher did? I call this an epic win. Next project. Library. Yeah, the whole website is a library. You add your favorite books with this button, and that's it. Whole purpose was just filling out forms and adding books. Next project. To-do list. As some very ancient legend says, you can't be a real developer unless you build a to-do list. It doesn't matter if you work at Google or Facebook. I'm sorry, but you're fake. As you can see, I need the design once again. You can add projects, and you can add tasks. Then click complete after finishing it to feel that dopamine. Which is the whole fucking point of to-do lists. It was time for the final project of the course. The final assignment was to make a clone of an existing website like Twitter or Facebook. But I wanted to make a one epic final project that blow everyone's mind. So I came up with this brilliant website. Its whole purpose is organizing Stack Overflow questions. If you don't know what Stack Overflow is, it's a holy website for programmers where they can find answers to their problems. Instead of getting lost inside a bunch of tabs for different Stack Overflow questions, you search them through Stack Organizer and save them inside a project. Then you can view your saved files in Organize page. You can also save inside folders, so it can be more organized the way you want. Oh, how did I build this? It was easy. Just four months of going through hell, losing sleep over this stupid file system. My ass merged with the chair at some point. They had to remove it with surgery. I think I still have some stitches left here. But hey, it was worth it. I believe this will get me a job someday. If I just keep doing my daily routine. Smash like and sub if your unemployed ass can relate. So yeah, this is my one year journey of learning web development. I will put all the resources that helped me in the description. See you in the next one.